The title race. The Premier League now has four teams that have equal chances of clinching the title. Chelsea, Liverpool and the two clubs of Manchester. Chelsea is now tactically brilliant with Tuchel who is a tactical mastermind who transformed Chelsea into an extremely strong side with them winning the Champions League. They keep getting lots of clean sheets having an extremely strong defense, one of the strongest in the world and they are continuing their impressive form. Liverpool now returned to their impressive form in 2019 that made them win the Champions League and the Premier League title and if they stay as consistent as 2019 they could get their second title as Jurgen Klopp. And actually they could, as they have the same assets with the nearly same lineup in addition of course to the new players Thiago Alcantara and Diego Jota. Man City of course, the Premier League winners and the Champions League finalists of last season are still getting their impressive high scoring results this season. Well, 5-0 against Norwich City, 5-0 against Arsenal and 6-3 against RB Leipzig. While Man United is the least overall between the four teams, Bruno Fernandes and Cristiano Ronaldo impressive individual contributions could get the job done. So yeah, we could see 4 teams with 90 plus points in the Premier League at the end of the season. And we could even see the 4 Champions League semi-final spots filled with 4 Premier League teams this season if they didn't run into each other in the quarter-finals of course. The big names. There are now a lot of stars in the Premier League. More big names more than any other season. Like for example, Salah, Manny, and Van Dijk in Liverpool, Kanti, Jorginho, Thiago Silva, and Lukaku in Chelsea, Harry Kane, and Son in Tottenham, Paul Pogba, Sancho, Baran, Bruno Fernandes, and Cristiano Ronaldo in Man United, Maris. Kevin De Bruyne, Ruben Diaz, and Grealish in Man City, and Jimmy Vardy in Leicester. So yeah, that's usually the most thing that attracts fans. Fans return. Speaking about fans this season, fans finally returned, and that is one of the most things that gets players to perform even better and make the games a lot more exciting and as they return finally after a year and a half without them that could mean that they are really hungry for cheering for standing by their players and that could mean the games being even more exciting top scorer race this season's top scorer race could be very exciting a lot of players with a very high scoring record and with the arrival of Ronaldo and Lukaku that will be the icing on the cake. Now there is Ronaldo, Lukaku, Bruno Fernandes, Salah, Mani, Aubameyang, Mikel Antonio, Calvert Lewin, Vardy, Harry Kane, Son, maybe Ings as well. There could be a lot of 30 plus goals this season. And there could be a lot of more records broken. And that could also mean a higher rate of scores scored in general which will provide more entertaining games. New European Competition The European Competition Spa Race will be even more exciting especially with the addition of a third competition that will add an extra spot for the Premier League and that will give a chance for a lot of teams other than the Big 8 which are Man City and United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, Leicester and Everton. There are also other teams proving to be very challenging this season until now when this video was recorded. Like Brighton and West Ham for example. So who do you think could win the league this season? And who would be the top scorer? My money is on Chelsea and Ronaldo.